Hello folks and welcome to another video on the channel. Today, as you can see, we are flying in IL-2 and this is pretty amazing because we're not using labels, but I thought I would try the highest pixel density that this headset can handle and that is 39 pixels per degree. It is absolutely incredible. Ripper 2, engaging fighter to the northwest. And it truly, to me, looks like a 4K monitor, but of course in VR. Now at the moment, I'm trying to take down a ME262 German fighter. In fact, this was the first operational jet-powered fighter aircraft, uh, and the Germans were the first to do it. And I'm in a Tempest with a good old prop engine. So it was quite difficult, but as you can see here, even with the sun glaring down on me, I managed to get a really good hit and it felt so good. And I could see everything so crystal clear. Looks like this pilot is not gonna make it out in time. Now, as you can also see from the VR footage, hopefully anyway, I was getting pretty decent frame rate, which I guess I shouldn't be too surprised with since IL-2 is superb in VR anyway. Uh, in fact, it's probably one of the best flight sims out there for VR performance. Here, we're now trying to take down this 109. And again, I just don't need labels at all. Um, I mean, even with 35 pixels per degree, the Varia Aero is super sharp, without a doubt. But just that extra pixels per degree, which actually in terms of resolution is 2192 by 1880 according to the Varia Base, it just makes the visuals completely pop out like I've never seen before. Now, as you can see here, I thought, damn, I've overshot this and now he's going to be behind me. So I went into a pretty steep dive and as you can see there, just making it out alive. I didn't record this with the intention of showing it on YouTube, but you know what? It was such an amazing fight. I just had to show it off, particularly as the Varia Aero truly rocks in a sort of combat scenario like this. Looks like I got his tail in this case and he's bailed out, so that's good. Boom. <laughs> right, so later on in the mission, I find yet another 109 to play with. And again, this one is uh, giving me a bit of a hard time. But notice how I'm firing very short bursts because you don't have a lot of ammo. I mean, in real life, I think they only had about 20 seconds or so of ammo. So you have to make every shot count. Now, I'm pretty happy with the VR footage. Uh, of this particular video because as you know VR is so hard to record I wasn't sure what frame rate I was getting but it felt very smooth indeed and that is of course without motion reprojection because still at the time of recording the Vario base does not actually um, support any kind of motion prediction in any of the sims but I really hope that that's going to change very soon so here we are getting a few hits here and there. I just need one more decent hit here. Training the bullets. Oh, this is looking good. Yep, yeah, he's definitely down this time. Let's follow him down. My goodness me, that's quite a sight. Especially in VR. Now, before we head home for tea and scones, I've got a little bit of fuel left over, and this was my best shot yet. Check this out. Oh, my God. Honestly, that was incredible. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little montage of a sort of dogfight. The Vario Aero continues to be absolutely incredible, especially at 39 pixels per degree. Take care, folks. Please feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.